Now I'd like to check step by step each of my clips to see if their lengths are just how I want them. Of course, I can use the previous method we just learnt to do this and to go through the clips one by one, that being by clicking in the time scale to position the cursor where we want it. That's one possibility. Another perhaps more elegant method is available to me, and that is the previous edit point and next edit point functions. These can also be called up via the A and S keys. If I call up the next edit point function, then the timeline cursor jumps automatically to the next edit point. If I press the S key again, we can see that the cursor jumps to the next clip border, which is in our case, the next edit point. And using this allows me to jump quickly from clip to clip, which can help me navigate around easily. So a good tip to use, the A and S key let you jump quickly to the next or previous edit points. The clip I want to look at now is this one here. I'll play it now. A few things strike me when looking at this clip. To start with, it's too long. Also, at the beginning of the clip, we see an issue with the brightness, which I don't want. And we also have a problem where the zoom at the beginning is unstable. And so, I would like the clip to start later. To solve the brightness issue, I will cut it out, and so I select the point I want the clip to start at, such as here, and making sure that the clip is selected, or this function won't work, I press the N key. As we are in insert mode with ripple, the function works as required, although of course I could use Alt plus N to force this mode if it wasn't active. In this case, just pressing N is fine, and the clip is shortened. It now starts at this frame. If I play it again, we can see the issue with the zoom, and it is still too long. So I'd like to cut this section of the clip out, and we will look at the functions and methods that will help us do this in the following lesson.